In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little secret cover three bombs out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel and we upload videos every single day that can help you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, we're talking about a cover three bomb out of the gun bunch and the Carolina Panthers playbook. Now, for those of you that have picked up my Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, I put out an update saying I wanted to make it a bunch guide for the year. So we're actually going to be uploading um, new plays into that ebook from all different types of bunches and really kind of go in depth with the bunch. So if you've not gotten that ebook, I would encourage you to do that. That ebook is going to be 100% focused in on the gun bunch, as well as a couple of unique things that you can do situationally from the Seattle Seahawks playbook in particular. And so this play that we're going to show you today has already been put into the ebook update. Um, and we got a couple little secret, uh, more secret plays that we uh, put in there as well. But I wanted to share this with you. And the reason why is because I wanted to share with you a popular adjustment that you're going to see from the gun bunch when you're playing in a higher level competition. So the play we're going to be showing is Y curl at a gun bunch in the Carolina book. And I'm just going to set up kind of a general uh, cover three real quick because I just want to kind of first illustrate what the challenge is going to be for the offense. And then I'm going to show you how we can combat that. So um, typically you guys have uh, already seen probably the video at this point about verticals. Literally all you have to do is just streak the circle receiver and you're going to have a pretty good opportunity here to bomb the cover three to the right. They actually played, uh, did a little bit of a patch to make that a little bit better of uh, defense on that cover three bomb but typically you're still going to be able to to get that i might have thrown that just a little bit too quick but generally speaking what's going to happen is that uh, that inside third whenever you run the play verticals that inside third is going to go to that crosser and it's going to open up this uh deep 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 bomb if it doesn't go that way sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't then you just take your crosser but generally speaking that will be open okay so the best way that people will combat that uh coverage or that beater is you're going to see that they're going to put that safety um, on an inside quarter and or a deep half inside quarter or a deep half okay and what that's going to do for the defense is it's going to allow them to be able to stop that cover three bomb but what's really cool about it is the concept of that bomb is basically a streak and a wheel route so on the left side we're going to basically have that same concept with the play y curl so I'm gonna do a streak circle. It's gonna look basically exactly like that play. And then what I like to do with the tight end is put him on a little baby in route as a, basically as a check down read. But what you're gonna see here is if they run cover three on you, um, this square receiver is going to absolutely torch cover three over the top for a one play score. Now the reason why this is so powerful is because what it forces your opponent to do from an adjustment perspective is they now have to play um, essentially they have to play cover four uh, in their defense so they have to put this guy in a deep zone and they have to put this guy in deep zone. it's basically cover four but on the outside we're gonna have outside thirds um, which I actually think is the best basic coverage uh, right now in the game is to play cover four on the inside and cover three on the outside but anyways all that to say obviously that's going to leave your in route open um, or any of your underneath routes will be wide open but let me just show you this route so you see here um, this is going to absolutely glitch the defense for a one play score once again so this play is really powerful against cover three so basically what it does is it forces your opponent to have to get out of cover three if they're defending the gun bunch and the reason why it's would be it would be um, very good for us to get them out of cover three is not only is cover three one of the most popular uh, defensive play calls in the game but it's also allows their user to be able to come underneath and play some other stuff such as like drags or crossers or things like that so now what you're going to see is now they're going to have to audible over here and go into some type of cover four defense. It can't be quarters. It has to be drop zone to be able to defend this. So now you're going to see that we have them into a cover four defense. Now I just want to show you um, what this play does to cover four. It's not going to do as good, but I do want to show you this one route to the square receiver. You're going to see that you can basically secure catch that in the seam early. So uh, typically what I see whenever I, whenever I run, um, 
the gun bunch, especially at this point in the season with how effective the verticals play is, especially when they run cover four drop, is you'll see that they'll put like this guy in a purple. They'll put this guy in a purple, like shaded down like a hard flat. Okay. And then they're going to take this guy over here and they might put him on, if I can get to him, um, they might put him on a purple zone so he can play like a corner. And then their user is going to be over here and they're going to try to take away any seam reads that they see over the middle of the field. So that's why I really like to go to this concept because now what you've got is a great little snap inside pass lead to that wide curl play that gets in a very tender spot of the defense. So all in all, this play encompasses a lot of different concepts um, out of this, but really it does a phenomenal job against cover four, um, or I'm sorry, against cover three. It's not the best against cover four, I will say that. Um, you're probably gonna check it down either to the quick route on the left or the in route, but against cover uh, three, it's incredible. And then also what you're gonna be able to do, let's say they go man coverage, you can just snap throw that ball right there to Evans quick. And as you see, he's gonna be able to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage for you. So I wanna thank you for watching this video and I wanna encourage those of you that have not gotten my bunch offensive guide. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. In my opinion, this is the most high powered offense every single year. Every single pro player is probably gonna be running this in the MCS tournament. And so if you want to learn the offense that most people say cannot get stopped in this game, I would highly encourage you to pick up that guide. It's just 15 bucks. We walk you through it. And the other thing that we're doing, like I said, is we're actually gonna update this guide over the course of the first month of the game. So if any patches come out that change any of the things that we've talked about previously, or as we find new concepts, we're gonna add those into the ebook for you free of charge. So uh, again, if you wanna get it, I think it's a great resource. It's a great way to learn the Gun Bunch if you've never learned it before, because the Gun Bunch this year is by far the best offense in Madden. And if you wanna get the full guide, it is down in the description. You can get that for just $15.